Noir by Christopher Moore is a darkly comedic novel that offers a satirical and wry take on the noir detective genre set in the late 1940s in San Francisco. The story centers around Sammy Two-Toes Tiffin, a bartender with a checkered past who mans the bar at Sal's, an establishment frequented by an eclectic cast of characters, including the shady but endearing bar owner Sal and Eddie Moo Shoes, an enigmatic Chinese man who quietly handles various odd jobs. Sammy's routine life takes a turn when Stilton, a mysterious and stunning blonde, walks into the bar. Stilton, who Sammy nicknames The Cheese, captivates him immediately, and the two rapidly find themselves entangled in a romantic liaison. Sammy is smitten by her charm and beauty, but it isn't long before Stilton's presence brings complications. She possesses an ambiguous background and appears to be on the run from something or someone, which only fuels Sammy's interest in her. Their burgeoning love story is interrupted by a series of bizarre and dangerous events that sweep them into the seedy underbelly of post-war San Francisco. The plot thickens when a VIP customer at Sal suddenly dies and Eddie Moo's shoes disappears. These incidents coincide with the arrival of a strange government agent who seems particularly interested in an unidentified flying object that was reported crashing in Roswell, New Mexico. Meanwhile, a wealthy businessman named Montgomery is also introduced, having an apparent connection to both the UFO and Stilton. Sammy's world spirals further out of control when Stilton herself vanishes, leaving behind only a cryptic note. Desperate to find her, Sammy enlists his friend and aspiring writer Jimmy, whose distinguishing features include a set of unnaturally large hands. Together, they embark on a perilous journey through the foggy streets of the city to unravel the mystery surrounding Stilton's disappearance. Their investigation leads Sammy to encounter a diverse array of characters from different walks of life, providing insight into the complexities of the city. These include a group of black market operators who deal in exotic animals, a shady doctor involved in sketchy medical practices, and a charismatic snake charmer named Myrtle. Humor and intrigue combine as Sammy and Jimmy piece together clues, with the trail leading them into unexpected adventures involving bizarre geniuses, secret government projects, and a dangerous gangster known as the Cheese's real husband. As the story progresses, facets of Stilton's secretive past are revealed. She turns out to be a war widow who was recruited by a government organization for her extreme agility and perception skills. Her assignment was to recover the aforementioned UFO, now identified as an experimental aircraft, before it falls into the wrong hands. It becomes apparent that Sammy was initially merely a pawn in her mission, but this does not deter him from his feelings for her. Throughout their wild journey, Sammy and Jimmy defy death and cross paths with powerful adversaries. The narrative weaves together elements of a classic noir, including double crossings, femme fatales, and the quest for redemption. As they learn more about the bizarre aircraft, its extraterrestrial pilot known as the Moon Man, and the dark dealings of the government, they find themselves confronting a much larger and weirder world than they had ever imagined. Amid the chaos, various subplots unfold, including Sal's struggles with the law, as well as Jimmy's own transformation through his experiences, which gives him ample material for his novel. The humorous and outlandish situations Sammy and his friends find themselves in contrast starkly with the sobering backdrop of a city still recovering from the echoes of war, making for a unique blend of levity and gravity. Toward the climax of the novel, Sammy confronts Montgomery, revealing his true motives and confronting the feelings and loyalties that have been tested throughout the narrative. The resolution of these confrontations, as well as the fate of the alien pilot, bring the various storylines to a head. Sammy's quick wit, loyalty to his friends, and love for Stilton allow him to navigate the treacherous waters of the shady figures and government intrigue that have come to dominate his life. The story comes to an end with most of the narrative threads tied up, though in true noir fashion, not all is resolved neatly. Some relationships are mended, while others are left ambiguous. Stilton and Sammy's relationship evolves and adapitates to the circumstances they have been through, while the fate of the Moon Man and the advanced aircraft he piloted remains uncertain. Throughout the novel, Moore's signature blend of the humorous and the bizarre shines through, 
creating an atmospheric tale that is as much about the era and the city as it is about the colorful characters who populate it. The juxtaposition of otherworldly elements with the gritty reality of post-war San Francisco adds a layer of complexity to the story, playing with readers' expectations of the genre. Noir, with its snappy dialogue, eccentric characters, and intricate plot, serves as an homage to the film noir genre, while simultaneously poking fun at its conventions and tropes. The result is a fast-paced, irreverent, and thoroughly entertaining read that delivers laughs as well as a suspenseful and engaging mystery. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.